Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about Python's regular expression engine and a little trick that I use occasionally, uh, which is dynamic replacements. Uh, it allows you to do some pretty fancy things while running a regular expression pattern uh, and modifying the output. Uh, now, I couldn't think of <laughs> a simple example, so we're gonna do a very real example today, uh, which comes from my tool called YesQA. And what YesQA does is it removes no QA comments from Flake 8 or from files that would be linted with Flake 8 if the comment isn't doing anything at all. Uh, and the way that it does that is it takes the original source and it removes all the comments, but it keeps them the same length that they were before. This is so that, you know, line length uh, still matters. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write a little piece of code that replaces all the comments with just blanked out characters instead. We'll probably use, I don't know, underscore dot or something. Uh, I'm going to start with a little source file that has comments in it, just so that we can uh, demo what we're doing. So some comments, another comment here, and maybe you have, I don't know, a no QA comment here. Um, it's a 401, if I remember correctly. Let's actually put the import at the top, otherwise we'll get another error as well here. And so if we were to run Flake 8 on this file, you'll see that it passes. Um, if we remove this and we run Flake 8 again, you'll see that we get this error here. And so this uh, F401 comment is important. If we would have put a no QA comment here, uh, you know, linting passes and it, linting will also pass if we were to remove this, which is what we're going to try and make our little regular expression thing to. So let's make a little file. Uh, I'm just going to write the model's code today with open source.py and we're going to write a little bit of regular expressions here uh, to replace out comments. Uh, our common pattern, let's see if I can do this in one go, it should start with an octothorpe and then have things that are not new line. I think that'll be our comment pattern. And so we basically want to replace out all of our comments. Now uh, we could probably do that by just doing comments.sub empty string in contents. And if we run that now, uh, python 3t.py, you'll see that it removed comments. Uh, it did leave trailing white space here. So if we were to run flake 8 on that, you'll see that flake 8 is now going to complain about trailing white space. It is going to complain about this, which is good. Uh, and it's going to complain about a blank line at the end. So this doesn't ac accomplish what we want. This is just a static replacement. But the cool thing about Python is you can actually write a callback for this uh, pattern here. So if we do this just so that we get the actual callback here. Uh, you can make a callback, and it will take the match as the first argument. And you are expected to return a new string here, cb for callback. And so this allows us to dynamically change the replacement string that we're performing as part of this replacement. And so what we wanted to do here is keep the octothorpe in place, but take the rest of the string and just replace it with dots. And so the easiest way to do that is to return our octothorpe uh, plus the length of match zero, match zero being the entire match, times a dot. Uh, we actually probably want a minus one. So we don't want to make it longer than it was before. Actually, we'll just make it exact. We don't need to do any special things here. We can do match one instead of match zero. And I just made a capture group up here. And we're going to multiply it by a dot inside here. And that should give us a new string that has our uh, comments still in place, but without the, uh, oh, of course I need, oh, we put it. <laughs> Put the parentheses there and then we got to take it out. Um, so now you can see that our comments are being replaced with our dots here. It's actually n equals empty string there, that way we don't modify the actual new line at the end. Uh, and so this kind of satisfies our, our case that we were looking before. Keep the comments in place, but blank out their contents. And if we run a flake 8 on it now, you'll see that, oh well, <laughs> flake 8 wants to see a, a space at the beginning of this. So we'll do a space question mark and capture that and keep it in here. Match one, and we'll change this to match two. That way, that way we keep that little bit of white space in there. Uh, so now we'll say we keep the white space and 
like it should only complain about that one new QA line. And so if we go back to our original source here, yes, QA would be able to identify, oh, this is a no QA comment here, and removing that comment doesn't produce an error on that line. So there shouldn't be a no QA comment here. And of course, if we uh, activate pip install yes QA, and yes QA does this with a, a very similar pattern here, yes QA source.py, and you'll see that it removed that comment that was here because it, it wasn't doing anything here. And let's see if we can find the part where yesqa does its little regex replacement. Uh, sub. Yeah, so here is uh, <laughs> actually exact, almost exactly what we wrote here. Although we did minus two, match.group. This hasn't been updated since Python 3.6. So I can do this now. Anyway, <laughs> little, little micro optimizations, but it's basically what we wrote here. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of a, a neat little trick that you can use with regular expressions. Uh, write a callback to dynamically process each of the matches rather than having to manually pick apart the string and, and do it with substring and start and end and, and all that stuff. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.